a very pleasant a very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in christ and outside the body of christ well once again this is your christian brother eric broxton speaking to you all from his beloved country trinidad and tobago the land of my nativity the land of my birth trinidad and tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue caribbean sea yes boys and girls everywhere in the body of christ and outside the body of christ and all those who will be fortunate to see this video on the internet and the world wide web on youtube i say welcome my dear brothers and sisters in this part three video brothers and sisters as i said in part one and part two and in this part three that your christian brother eric braxton this little christian boy this little christian child way down in the caribbean in the west indies trinidad and tobago eric braxton are hearing troubling news that are coming from the united states of america from the from the great industrialist country and the most advanced mon monop metropolis country in the world today the united states of america and what is that troubling news that have trouble the heart and mind and soul of eric braxton and i know it is troubling a lot of people all over the world to this new trends practice and philosophy and teaching and practice teaching and practice about spirit cooking <coughs> brothers and sisters and this spirit cooking is not good news at all it is bad news because this spirit cooking it it entails evil what is wrapped up in the spiritual in the spirit cooking is evil wickedness deception injustice and sinful activities involved in the spirit cooking the eating of human flesh and the drinking of human blood or the drinking of hum animal blood brothers and sisters well, they didn't mention of eating of animal blood, animal flesh, but of course, any form of blood that you drink, whether animal or man, it is wrong. And I will not go to the specific text in the Bible because it is mentioned in many books in the Old Testament, but I will quote the text. God told the children of Israel, Thou shalt not eat the flesh with the blood because the life of all flesh is in the blood therefore thou shalt take the blood and put it upon the earth and cover it with dust in other words the the blood that is in all the animals that god created and in human beings is the life that's why when a person gets an accident whether he gets shoot or whether he gets stabbed with a knife or any instrument and he lose a lot of blood he could lose his life because of the amount of blood that he, he, he lose so that's why if you get that's why they, they take a cloth and ban ban your belly if you get starved in your belly on your hand to stop the flow of blood because blood is life now ancient israel the churn of israel in the wilderness as we mentioned in the bible god told them when they kill an animal or any animal they're supposed to drain out the blood out of the animal and eat the flesh but they are supposed to eat the flesh with the blood because that's a sin and there was a king in israel the first official king that god set up which is king saul when he disobeyed god he caused a lot of the people to eat the flesh with the blood because the people was hungry and that day king saul should allow the people to eat but he tell them to eat and the people was hungry that they take the sheep and kill the sheep and began eating the sheep and they didn't drain out the blood out of the sheep they began eating the flesh with the blood inside it with the blood in the flesh and their sin samuel the prophet told them that brothers and sisters so you see eating the flesh with the blood is wrong because the blood is the life 
they are of brothers and sisters so any animal you kill not any animal because you cannot eat any animal but if you kill a goat if you kill a sheep you drain out the blood and when all the blood is drained out then you deal with the flesh skin it and roast it etc and etc but you are not allowed to eat blood eating blood is a sin all all blood ants blood butcher blood cockroach blood human blood all blood is a sin eating all any form of blood is a sin you are not to eat the blood or drink human blood neither animal blood eating drinking human blood or eating human blood or drinking animal blood doesn't matter what animal it is it is a sin it is abomination in the eyes of god now this is the teaching of the scriptures brothers and sisters the holy bible from genesis to revelation and i eric broxon was very trouble when i hear that spirit cooking is taking place in united states and other parts of the world that spirit cooking and that spirit cooking involves a lot of satanic rituals I hear, the, I hear the Freemason is doing that. I hear all the secret society cults in America is doing that. Drinking the blood of babies. Drinking animal blood and human blood in their sacrifice. In their satanic and devilish rituals and secret location. Whether in the woods or privately in the home or in um, other places. Brothers and sisters. And all and people from all walks of life in all levels of the society is involved in it brothers and sisters in Hollywood from the actors those in the acting industries those in the musical industries and other forms of entertainment brothers and sisters involved in this spirit cooking but there's more to spirit cooking in it. But I cannot cover everything in this video. I'm dealing one aspect of it, brothers and sisters. This black smell and burn goods. Brothers and sisters. Mm, so I am appealing to you all out there. Anyone that is involved in the spirit cooking, decease immediately from it. Because you all are committing a crime. You all are committing doing something that is wrong eating human flesh and drinking human blood and drinking animal blood that is wrong you all need to decease from it and recognize that you all are engaging in some in a practice that is sinful that is abominable that is not pleasing in the eyes of God and against the laws of God against the law of God and therefore you all need to renounce all yourself from it and don't be a part of that practice brothers and sisters that is the decision that you all have to make at the end of the day and God will help you all to make that decision brothers and sisters in Christ and also the body of Christ right so this spirit cooking as I said I'm I am very troubled about that sin about that news that I'm here coming out of United States of America I Eric Braxton your little Christian brother and Christian child Eric Braxton way down in the West Indies are very troubled about that practice that is taking place in the United States of America. I'm very troubled about that about it. I am not pleased and of course our heavenly creator, the one who created us and responsible for us about us, responsible for the human family. God the Father and Jesus Christ. Both of them as not is not this, not pleased about that because they are against that practice because god did not introduce that practice amongst the human family my dear friends brothers and sisters it is a sinful practice brothers and sisters drinking the blood of baby eating the flesh of baby it say give them a high. It give the Freemasonries and the Luciferianism, Luciferianism. Those who believe in Lucifer, a spiritual high. Those that involved in the secret society and secret cult and satanic cult and satanic brotherhood, and those who belong to the Church of Satan or the Temple of Satan or different groups who, who, who openly and proclaim to the world. That they, adore, that they adore and worship Satan as their God. And all these babies, 
that they have kidnapped and stole from people mothers when they give birth in the hospitals and all these children that gone missing in child trafficking kidnapping them and jogging them and sacrificing them in the satanic rituals all over the world what you all are doing is totally wrong in the eyes of god and if you all do not repent and recognize that that practice is wrong and made that effort to come out of that cult that secret society the freemasonries or the temple or the church of satan or the or, or whatsoever satanic group that you all are in and you all continue to practice that sinful practice you all will be judged by god himself in the day of judgment yes my dear friends there will be no escaping for you all for the injustices that you all are committing kidnapping these boys and girls killing them and offering them up as sacrifice in all the satanic rituals deceased from that practice immediately in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and seek help seek help run to that church run to that true man of god and pastor run to that true christian and seek help seek help from the true people of god who will point out to you all that what you all are doing is wrong and that you all need to come out from the cult and all these satanic groups my dear brothers and sisters in christ in no other name but in the name of our lord and our savior jesus christ and jesus christ will set you all free from that practice for whosoever the son of man jesus christ set free he is free indeed yes my dear friends so there's hope for all of you all who are indulging in that wrong practice there is hope for each and every one of you all there is enough time for you all to come out out of that abomination practice and do what is right in the eyes of god yes my dear friends brothers and sisters so see you all in the next video soon bye bye my friends full of peace